Our history begins more than 40 years ago, when in 1959, Rani, our founding director, and her sister Prema were amongst the first three South African girls to study Bharatanatyam in Madras, India, and returned to South Africa in 1961 to give spellbinding performances at every major center. They taught this art form at the Naidu Sisters School of Dance to young and often underprivileged youth, many of whom are now well-known dancers in their own right. They returned to India in 1965 to study Kathak. Anusia, the daughter of Rani, studied Bharatanatyam and Kathak under both her mom and aunt since childhood and attended the same schools as her mother in India. Together, Rani and Anusia lectured at Sastri College and later Ketamana Technical Colleges, Department of Human Movement and Communication in KwaZulu-Natal for nine years before launching Anavratha Dance Institute in 1993. They have been constantly committed to empowering and the spirit of unity in diversity. In this endeavor, Tandiwe Princess Mzobe became their first non-Indian pro bono student after expressing an interest in the art form in 1992. She studied Kathak, a North Indian classical dance style, for eight years with them since she was six years old. The institute began a small core performance troupe called Marue Africa, meaning Skies of Africa. Based on four friends coming together to create a unique vision born of their shared passion for dance, no matter the origin and mutual understanding that is to grow into a formal platform for sustained employment for young, amateur, unemployed professional dancers of South Africa. The recognition of our work was greatly cemented by being invited to perform at prestigious venues and events both locally and internationally, such as the Playhouse in Durban, the Pepsi-Cola launch concerts in South Africa, the 9th African Athletics Championships in 1993, and two international tours, the first to Mauritius in 1995 as part of their Independence Day celebrations, and the second to Mauritius and Malaysia in 1999. Since our inception, we have been privileged to perform for some of the most prominent personalities in the world. Our most memorable being for ex-president Nelson Mandela in Durban in 1994 and for Queen Elizabeth II in 1999 at the Durban City Hall as part of the city's official reception in her honor. The wide media coverage we receive both locally and our, at our international events serve to reiterate the need for propagating perpetuation of culture traditions and heritage of this great nation as we are proudly South African.